ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕಾವಲಿ ಹಾಯ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ಸ್ 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 ಟುಡೇ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಆಟೋಮೊಬೈಲ್ಸ್ ಇಂಜನ್ಸ್ ಮೋಟಾರ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಲಾರಿಸ್ ಬಸ್ಸಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಫ್ಯೂಯಲ್ಸ್ every person must and should depend upon the fuels fuels what is meant by the fuel a combustible substance which are proper burning in presence of air or oxygen gives a large amount of heat energy is called fuels once again the definition is in a a combustible substance which are proper burning in presence of oxygen or air gives a law large amount of heat energy is called a fuels fuels is used in domestic purpose or industrial purpose fuels is using in automobile engines also just like as fuel plus oxygen gives product product plus heat energy heat energy is it a product means this product is called a co2 plus h2 common h2 this is called a product and next fuels fuels classification of fuels fuels are classified into two types by depend upon properties one is the primary fuel and second one secondary fuel primary fuel second one secondary fuel primary fuels secondary fuels and primary primary fuels primary fuels fuels which occur in nature is called primary fuels fuels which occur in nature is called a primary fuels primary fuels example petroleum petroleum coal coke etc 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 and secondary fuel secondary fuels is a fuels which derived from the primary fuel fuel which derived from the primary fuel is called secondary fuels for example secondary fuels example petroleum diesel kerosene etc is a petroleum diesel kerosene petrol natural gas water gas producer gas etc this is the secondary fuel so these are the two fuels by classified into properties another one fuels are classified into three types by depend upon physical state is a three types one is the solid fuels second one liquid fuels and third one gaseous fuel first one solid fuels second one liquid fuels third one gaseous fuels is in three types 
that the fuels are classified into depend upon physical strength, which are solid fuels, liquid fuels, and third one gaseous fuels. Is it solid fuels? Solid fuels, just like as an example of solid fuels. Example: wood, coke, and coal, etc., etc. And liquid fuels, example: petroleum, diesel, kerosene, petrol, etc. And gases fuels, example: is it natural gas, water gas, producer gas, coal gas, biogas, gobar gas, etc. The first one is the solid fuels. Solid fuels is the classified into four types, which are one is the peat coal, lignite coal, bituminous coal, anthracite coal. Peat coal is least ranking of coal, and anthracite coal is highest ranking of coal. Is a peat coal is a bit of low calorific values anthracite coal is highest calorific values any coal any fuel is the good fuel by the depend upon the calorific value this coal is a better one coal is anthracite coal is the highest calorific value these are the solid fuels second one is liquid fuels liquid fuels example petrol diesel kerosene etc etc liquid fuels liquid fuels one is the most example petroleum petroleum or crude oil crude oil petroleum or crude oil petroleum petroleum is word is derived from the two latin words petra petro is a rock and oleum oil this is called rock oil or mineral oil or crude oil this is the petroleum petroleum word is derived from the two latin words rock is is a pet, petra is the rock and oleum is the oil that is called a rock oil petroleum sources from liquid fuels And, and next one is the is a petroleum crude oil. Petroleum is a green dark greenish brown high viscous liquid from earth crust. Is it a petroleum? Petroleum is a dark greenish brown high viscous liquid from earth crust. That is called a petroleum. next petro second one is the refining of petroleum is a second one is refining of petroleum refining of petroleum or crude oil refining of petroleum is a petroleum contain different impurities just like as water sulfur compound and emulsions etc etc the impurities the process refining of petroleum is a definition the process removal of impurities in crude oil or petroleum oil separating of impurities by different boiling ranges is called a refining of petroleum once again the definition the process of removal of impurities of petroleum oil and separating of fractions by different boiling ranges is called a refining of petroleum the refining of petroleum involves so three steps step 1 step 2 step 3 This is in three steps involving the refining of petroleum. Step one, step one is the separation of water. Separation of water. And step two is the removal of sulfur. Sulfur. 
and third one fractional distillation fractional distillation three steps are involved from refining of petroleum first one separation of water is in a crude oil or petroleum oil contain a different impurities just like water sulfur compounds in dust particles etc that that crude oil is it treated with silent direct electrodes that crude oil pass through the direct electrodes of high energy is easily separated by the water molecules that is the step 1 step 2 removal of sulfur is a remaining balance of impurities of crude oil is it treated with cupric oxide cupric oxide is react with the sulfur compound to form precipitate of copper sulfate that precipitate of copper sulfate is easily sub removal of filtration process that is is the step 2 removal of sulfur so is it a sulf is it a removal of sulfur and water remaining of fractional distillation step step 3 fractional distillation is a remaining of impurities is removed by the fractional distillation that crude oil or petroleum oil is a heating by at 400 degree centigrade small impurities and different boiling points gives a different oils is called fractional distillation say at the same time is a 400 degree centigrade heated by the crude oil that different boiling points is produce of different oils is called a fractional distillation the crude oil is taken in a stainless steel retort is a tall retort retort containing is a horizontal tray stainless steel tray every tray is provided a small chimney chimney is covered covered by small cap so next one is the the diagram i will be explain easily refining of petroleum the diagram is the first one refining of the petroleum by the retort taken in a retort retort is a large tall retort stainless steel tall retort this one is a retort containing a horizontal stainless steel trays of retort this is a stainless steel retorts every retort is provided by the chimney chimney is covered by the loose cap this is the chimney this loose cap this one is a loose cap the horizontal stainless steel trays every tray is provided by the loose chimneys trays every tray is provided by the chimney chimney is covered of loose cap so so many trays in a tower retort retort the crude oil pass through the tall retort that crude oil is in a distillation of at 400 degree centigrade this different boiling points is a release of different oils that is the is a retort calm first one is the 30 degree centigrade is released of condensed gas condensed gas next one is 30 to 70 degree centigrade temperature is released of petroleum ether petroleum ether that is the petroleum ether next one is 70 degree centigrade to 120 degree centigrade is released of gasoline or petrol this one gasoline or petrol 120 degree centigrade to 180 degree centigrade temperature is released of naphthal gas naphthal oil and another one is 180 to 250 degree centigrade 
to release of kerosene oil kerosene 250 degree centigrade to 320 degree centigrade is the release of oil diesel oil and last one 322 400 degree centigrade is the release of heavy oils the heavy oils is fractional distillation to containing of petroleum ether so these these are the different oils that is called a fractional distillation some different boiling ranges to release of different oils is called a fractional distillation third one is fractional distillation there is a petroleum oil or crude oil is a refining by the retort to release of different oils that is the refining of petroleum this is very important for the main examination and the once the briefing so what fuels what is meant by the fuel fuel classification is a solid fuels example and a liquid fuels examples and important to manufacture of the oils there is a fractional distillation this also is a liquid fuels